Hi guys, welcome to Linux Penny channel. Today we're looking at some Nico numeracy sample items. That's an actual exam and it's from the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information. All right, so let's get right into it. All right, so it says, number one says, I think I should pick it up a bit for those who work on tablets and stuff. All right, number one, so what is the expanded form of 4,513, right? So what it's asking us to do is to find the total, right? So four plus, it couldn't be this, right? Four plus five is 19, that would be 13. This one says 4,000 plus 500, that's 4,500 plus 10 plus three. So this would be B. Number two says three times four is the same as, is it four plus four plus four? So four plus four is eight. So we just look for which one can give us 12, and that would be A. Let's look at this one out. It says Roy has 22 C, C suites. He buys 90 more. How many suites does he have in all? So if he has 22 and then he buys a further 19, so let's have to add. 1 plus 2 is 11. 1 plus 2 is 31, right? So that would give us 41. So that our answer would be B. Right, let's look at number four. It says which number represents three tenths and five ones? No, three tenths, five ones. Three tenths, five ones. Okay, so that would be three tenths. It's almost missing. Yeah. So that would be 35. Three tenths and five ones, that's 35. Well, and I guess. How come you? All right, welcome back. It says, which come just after the sixth position? So that will be the seventh position. Then the eighth, then it was 2019. What is 26 rounded to the nearest 10? No, let's show you guys. 20, or it's going to be 30. As I said, 10, right? No. Well, this will have to drop off six. So that means our answer would be 30. It's total 30. This one also says 27 plus 27 is equal to. Now, when the denominator is the same, we can just add the top, right? Or we can say that the LCM, I could just show you along because we're A plus in our maths. So the LCM is 77, 1. 77, 1. Multiply that, we get 2 over 7. So that's B. All right, let's move on to number eight. The product of two numbers is 36. Their sum is 13. What are the two numbers? All right. So the product of two numbers is 36, and their sum is 13. So we investigate the product for this is 12, so we can eliminate this. The product for this is 36, so we, we have a chance. But let's look at the sum. 3 plus 12 is 15, so it can be done. 6 and 7, 6 times 7, 42, so we can eliminate that. 4 times 9, 36, so look at it. Thank you, guys. Practice every day, or rather, is 13. So that's D. How many meters in one kilometer? And that would be 1,000, all right? Kilo mean 1,000. The fence around the garden forms four eight right angles and has four equal sides. What is the shape of the garden? So let's just look at it. It says four right angles, which is our type of thing that you want. Quick, quick, quick. Let's go. That would be a square. So we're going to number 11. What is the perimeter of the diagram shown below? Now, the first thing I ask yourself, what does the word perimeter mean? Perimeter means the total distance around the shape. So this is a rectangle. So the opposite side are equal, right here, four. So all you have to do, add all four sides around, right? So it's going around, not like area. So we look at the inside part. So 18 plus four, 22. So the total goes so, goes so, and goes so. It's 22 all the way around, right? That's what perimeter means. Right, let's look at number 12. If t is equal to 14, what is t times 3? So we're going to replace t with 14. So we're going to multiply 14 
by one, three, one, three, so that is positive one. Another way we could have done is to add 14 three times. All right, let's got 13. Bobby is X years old. Frank is 12 years older than Bobby. Which number sense, which number sentence represents Frank's age? All right, so let us look at it. So Bob, Bobby is X. Frank is 12 years older than Bobby. So this is Bobby older. Whatever age Bobby is, age is, Frank is gonna be plus 12. So that means if Bobby is four, Frank is gonna be 12 years older. So it's gonna be four plus 12. So we can just use turn it around and put 12 plus six. Right. Yeah, it doesn't matter, right? All right. Let's look at Next item 14, the bar graph below show the height of six students. So we have six students. Use a graph to answer question 14 and 15. So you give it the height, right? And it's to say Andrew, Barry, Charlie, Dana, Eve, Fiona. This is basically x axis and this is the y. So this is height. So Andrew height is 120 centimeter. Barry is 140 centimeter and so on. Charlie is your, your major height here, so right? So if one of these represent 20, so you can see they're going up by 20, right? So let's look at Charlie age. Charlie is 100 centimeter and Donna is 108. But let's look at the question, all right? What is it? There's a question what else do? What is the height of the tallest student? So we're gonna look for the tallest student, which is the tallest bar, which is this one and it matches with 180 centimeters. So the tallest student is 180. All right, how much taller is Charlie than Eve? So we're gonna work it up the top. Charlie, how much taller is Charlie than Eve? So we're gonna look at Charlie's age and Eve. So Eve is right here, so that's 140. Just identify, and Charlie is 100. The name is on the bottom, 100 minus let me just check about the name, Eve and Charlie, Eve and Charlie, let's see. Eve and Charlie, Eve and Charlie, yeah. So that's 40 centimeters. All right, let's look at number 16. It's finished. Oh, wow. oh God, guys, I'm so sorry. It's after. Thank you guys so much for watching. So, you know, do the class also. I also want to work with the young ones, so you can just keep me up, right? Thank you guys so much for watching my channel and my video. Appreciate you all. This is an explanation, no doubt. See you guys in another video.